we're up here today, practice round day, Paul, my brother Paul, and James Ruth are playing together in this event. They've done really well over the years at Sunningdale, but we thought we'd follow them round the golf course today. So we're playing the old course, following them round foursomes, and they're going to be playing with Alex Clapp, who you will have seen on the channel, and Dan Tugard. So I'll interview those guys as well as we go round, so you get a bit of an insight into who they are and what they're about. But let's head to the first tee now, meet up with the boys, and just follow them round this beautiful, well, beautiful golf course. Right, Paul. Yes. Sunningdale, Morning. first hole, old course. So this is where the old course, this is where the old course is, just to the right hand side of the putting green. New course down over there, you can see the starters hut past the chipping green there. What, what are you boys playing today? Uh, we're gonna have a little foursomes match. Yeah. In preparation for our- Sunningdale foursome. Starts tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So it starts tomorrow, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna have a little foursomes match against James's coach. James's coach, Alex. Okay, and uh, any any money riding on this, or are we keeping sure that we'll quiet? Have something. We haven't we haven't discussed terms yet. Have you not? We're going to um, we'll certainly uh, look into what we're going to play okay. for in a minute. Okay. Well, let's get going. Jimbo, oh, you playing for dinner? This is it. Dinner. Playing for dinner. Should we do dinner. Jimbo, first tee, driver, four nine well, two par play five. For play for a beer. Yeah, let's do that then. No, beers rather than dinner. That's par four, this one. It's par four, is it? Par five. Par five. Oh, par five, is it? Par five. Par five. Four, nine, two, par five. Doesn't matter what it is, match play. Yeah, match play is... Uh, par, so no no shots flying four, around, all off scratch. Top, par four. Yeah. Fine shot. Perfect. Yeah, that was good, you know. <coughs> yes, yeah, perfect. Win, just got a touch. Yeah. It's okay. Mm. I think that's okay. Good angle in. Down the right, just moving on the breeze. I'm going to see that down. There is a yeah. Paul McGinley's house is down there, so we're not sure. It is tight, yeah. Dan is going to have a little provisional just in case. It's a little, a little, a little tight down the right side. Yeah, nice down the down the centre. No, drawing left slightly. Have a good week, boys. Good. Sorry. Right, thank you very much. All the best, lad. Thank you. Oh, there's trouble. Trouble down the right. Got to be careful with this wind. I'll just play yours, Dad. It is OB over this hedge. I don't think it's out of bounds, but it's certainly in the trouble. Okay, just down the right hand side, just missing the fairway, just fell off into this little, this little, little grass bunkers down the right hand side. I'm not sure whether they were wasteland bunkers at one stage. In the history of this, well, a wonderful history of this course. About 200, I'm hit six iron, just out of this lie. It's yeah, you're easy. looking for a little jumper out of that lie. It's kind of downhill to the hole, so I can't land it on. I'm just going to try and let it release up. Okay. Just, that's gone straight at it, Paul. Yeah, that looked good. I think that's not, not too far away. Paul's just a bit short of uh, the green there, boys. So just down this left-hand side of the fairway. Fly, it? Yeah. Similar as what was on the right-hand side, just a little sort of grass bunkery style and heather. Eight iron? Yeah. It's kind of down off the left, so yardage two hundred ish. Two hundred, yeah. yeah. Starting it just on the right side, that wind just keeping it out there. Is that okay? Yeah, front edge. Well done, good shot, good strike out of there. So some of you may be asking, well, what actually is the Sunningdale foursomes? Well, obviously Sunningdale Golf Club is a very prestigious golf club in the UK. So many events played here over the years. I mean, you just wander around that clubhouse in there. It is absolutely beautiful, full of history. Um, the likes of Bobby Jones played out here. Um, it is, yeah, it's just a spectacular venue. They've got two golf courses. They've got the old course that we're playing here today, and then you've got the new course, which is across the way there. Um, and the tournament is played over uh, both courses. So the draw for them is that if they're playing generally the old course in the morning, they might be playing the new course in the afternoon or vice versa. Now, Sunningdale Foursomes is a knockout event. It's, this is the 88th year that it's been going. Some of the world's best have actually played in it and it's kind of an event that's taken off over the years because tour players used to come and have 
um, some competition around here if they're playing let's say a European tour things like that they would come and play this course or this event just to give them get themselves going for the season likes of Ross Fisher's one round here um, Laura Davis plays every year Sam Torrance I had a picture taken a couple of years ago with Sandy Lyle and a lot of them Paul McGinley a lot of them live in this area um, we're not very far away from London so it's a really good spot for lots of golfers um, to come and base themselves in this area. They might not be at Sunningdale, um, but they'll be at courses around this area. So they'll come and play here as just a bit of warm up. Proper tight lies, aren't they boys? Lovely yeah. first shot today there. Yeah, nice tight lie. Pitching off this is, um, it's literally like, it's, it's, anyone can explain it. It's like a, it's like some of the putting greens around the UK right now, these, uh, these fringes or yeah nice just starting out the right hand side there is a bit of slope there bringing it in from right to left good Dan nice shot mate cheers that was a bit too good <laughs> oh you get those the old jokes oh, don't you eh? yeah. uh, <laughs> I was just explaining these these fringes are literally like the putting greens around the UK right now aren't you they? would they happily are. putt on this you'd happily yeah. like, which is what James is doing <laughs> yeah, it's more to do with I don't trust my chipping rather than <laughs> oh really you got no, I would always putt from here yeah, it's just off the edge. Got it moved one either way. No, you're okay, mate. No, you're right. <laughs> All right, James asking him just to mark up, give him some breathing space to get through to the pin. Aiming out the right side, now working in. Nice one. Good greens. Look like they're quick, boys. I would say this time of year they've got them for this tournament probably about 11, 10 yeah, or 11 on the stage. They're stint, always pretty maybe. good, considering how much rain they've had, they're fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that's a sneaky new little putter we've got there. Nope. Just moves, there's a lot, lot of swing on this green, isn't there? Well, I pulled for a birdie to go one up. Well done, boys. Well, boys. Good birdie to start. Always tidy. Thank you. Second hole, 489 par 4, stroke index 4. It's probably one of the most stunning, well, it sets the, sets the round up this hole, doesn't it? It's probably one of the most stunning holes on the course. Um, kind of got to get a bit of a draw shape is the, is the shape here. Wind off the right a bit? It's more down, off, down and off the right, I would say. So you're kind of trying to aim it here and then just draw it in off there if you can, pull the driver. A little left, but that could. That'll be absolutely fine, I think, Paul. I think you've got just enough. Got away with it? Yeah. Sure. And the, obviously the more you turn over and get it going down that left side, the shorter the hole becomes. You played it before, Dan? Yeah, played it. I actually played this event maybe three times now. Yeah. I think it's been cancelled at Can least cancel. twice yeah. in the last yeah. few years, hasn't it? Once for weather and yes, then COVID no, kicked yeah. in, didn't it, last year? And COVID, yeah. That's okay. Absolutely fine. Yeah. Good hit, that. Good strike. Stop. It's a long, long par four this one. Now let's get 220 in. A little left. Oops. A little bit left. Good job, let's go up short. <laughs> they're still there, are they? Oh, they're gone! Flags in! What were you doing then? Laying up? Yeah, he did like a little wedge. Oh! <laughs> okay, James just pitching Paul's tee shot out to here. So what have you got left in? Uh, 155. 155. Nice, Paul. Straight at it. Just turning in. Yeah. Again, hugely slopey green this one from front to back, so it'll be, uh, he's going to have a little bit of a downhiller there. Alright, the boys, Alex and Dan, left with a little, 
Oh. Fancy too many of these today. No, you don't want too much of this going on, do you? I'll have to have a word with him in a minute. You've got a lot of green to work with, but you are landing on a bit of a well, a bit of a down slope, aren't you? Flat, on the green, flat in the shadow. And Is then it flat in the shadow and then it releases down, down? So kind of halfway in the shadow, I think. Yeah. And then it should trickle down. Yeah. That's really good, Dan. No, it's good. It leaves him a nice uphill putt from there. Yeah, it's a good shot. Not easy off those tight lies early on, is it? Yeah. I think you might have to have a word with your partner there. Testing the nerve there. <laughs> hey, you can see, and it's the amount of slope from front to back on this green is pretty, uh, pretty full on. So anything just on the front will release down towards the flag. That's for their four. Oof. Great part of that, again you can see how much that wiggled past the hole. Like it, like it. Okay, Paul up the hill, this for the half. Hmm, so much swing on this green. Kind of, uh, there is subtle breaks on this course, isn't there? All the yeah, way around. Some slope, it's some slopey, 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 slopey positions. Places. Yeah. Right, boys. All flat. Third hole, three eighteen. A little. Well, it's a little, um, little tighty. I call it. A little tighty, James. Yep. Um. So. You normally, kind of get there, but not. I was going to say for the big boys. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, how do you how do you compare to James, Alex, lengthwise off the um, tee? To be honest, it's probably one of the only things I've got is a bit of length yeah. off the tee. Okay. Um, so I. So you're there myself, or thereabouts yeah, with I him? Yeah, I find myself to get up. Yeah. We've, so 318, you're yeah. kind of knocking it. He, he just hits it a lot straighter than me more than anything. He plays a lot more than you are, Alex, yeah, doesn't he? he's got a decent coach as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A little left. Oh, spat it out. That spat it out. That yeah, hit that tree one, there. Maybe. Just spat it out. We're gonna have another, we're gonna have another go. Wind is slightly down, slightly out the left, but it is cold. That's good, James. Yeah, that's good, Ooh, are they looking back there, Jimbo? Don't know. Pretty good. Yeah. Hold on. On the right hand side. Sorry. You alright? Yeah. He wanted to leave your full shot in. Yeah, we just talked about that on the last. You did you? So. Yeah, yeah. It's good, good He's thinking. He said you didn't like tight lights. No. He's a good lad. <laughs> Club? I got eight iron, one sixty-five. Six-five. Just turning yeah, over. Is that good? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's right yeah. on it. Yeah. All over it. Yeah. Yeah, I can't see that down. I couldn't see the flag on there. We'll probably get a little marker on that. Good strike. That's different, mate. A little bit dry. They probably would have run on sort of onto the front edge of the green because it's actually only moved a foot and a half from where it landed. So Paul now is faced with a shot. He's got nothing in his way, really. Um, the green looks like it slopes a little bit from left to right. Yeah, nice uh, touch. Just sat down. Big swing, huge okay. swing. Always picking that up. So that's in there for four. Cool, yeah, it's aiming. It's, it's downhill as well, so it's slippery. Tracking, tracking. Oh, Jimmy, that, I can't tell you how good a putt that is. Very good, boys. Good bird. I think the pitch set it up. <laughs> 146, or 146 to the pin, based on that numbers or where we're at. Beautiful hole, all uphill. Bunkers littered the front, deep bunkers as well. There's a bunker on the left-hand side as well, and then a big runoff to the right, so. Precise with yardage, club, very important. It's 
vehicle there just spinning down. Bit unlucky really. Look at that run down. Just short the trap stop now. Down now it's T shot. Bit right I think. No, not sure. I think he's missed it right. Alex is just down on the path, so Dan's shot missed the green to the right or the left as we're looking down the green. A little bit short. Turn out to James' second shot. Very good shot. Great yeah, shot. Right here, right, Dan. So slightly uphill, maybe a fraction off of his, well I would say it's pretty straight from there. Very good, great part. Was that pretty straight up the hill there Alex? Yeah, right edge. Yeah. yeah. Fifth hole, right, fifth hole 420, downhill off the tee, water hazard down there, so the boys are hitting fairways off the tee box, positioning themselves. Started it down the middle, just turning to the left now, straight down on Bernie there. That's fine, kicked in, nice. Wow, that's a kicking off, isn't it? Uh, you played it a few you played years. It, yeah. <laughs> if you do well in this event, you get little members bounces, is that what they say? <laughs> right, Alex, what's that? Three wood or five? Three wood, yeah. Three wood, yeah. Nice. Similar line, isn't it? You should get the same bounce then, Alex, really. Yeah, you got it. It's not quite gone as kicked out as far right, but it's still a nice little bounce out for you. Safe. Water hazard short. It's really sort of hit getting the drives really a good one downwind. But it's bouncy, you'll probably end up in there. Bunkers to the right. Twenty-two. The wedge. Yeah, I'm gonna hit a little one. Just down yeah. a bit. We've got wedge. Like a tee shot, probably favour the left side better than the right. So we left the stick. Good shot there. Great, great shot. So sort of just short pin high. Very good from Paul. I've got a little challenge for you, Lester. Yeah, on. I wonder if you can walk. All the way across there to the other side. I'll buy you a beer. I'll buy you a beer if you do it. Go on. Go on, Bernie. You can do it. Go on. 20 years ago, I'd have definitely gone. Go on. Oh, you got this. Oh, you're not. Oh, Barnsley. Come on, Barnsley. The people want to see you do it. Come on. Does anyone want to attempt it? Come on. It's worth, it's worth a beer. Come on, Bernie. You got that. In anyone? That's a step, that is. Come on, Bernie, you can do this. Go on, you can do it. No, I Easy for a man of your abilities. If you could do that. Your legs are long enough to do that. I'm going to give it... I, I, might, I might attend to later. Later, after a few Bernie, beers. Bernie, you've got this. <laughs> Bernie, you've got this. It's the ones to see the crossing. You didn't have a real cream Come on, Bernie, Bernie you've got this. You've got a full yeah. waterproof suit on. Let's put, it, let's put it to the test. Foot Joy, Foot Joy would love to see it. Tried and tested. On, Shall we? No. <laughs> well, this is your first experience with sunning down, and, and how is it? I know you're not you're not got the clubs out. No, but no, I'm glad I haven't to be honest. <laughs> it's tight, isn't it? Yeah, you like so, it? Oh, it's unbelievable. Isn't Pretty it? special, isn't it? Um, 
we're only, we're only on the fourth hole, but there's not fifth, fifth hole. Fifth, yeah. There's not one bad hole yet, is there? It's no. just beautiful, and beautiful it surroundings. You wait until you get to the halfway hole. Oh, I can't wait. A little saucy <laughs> sound. Oh, you're a veggie, you can't yeah. have that. <laughs> All right, boys just threw back left of the green. Bunker flirting with. The thing with these bunkers is they are pretty straight edged as you come out. They're always, obviously, as you can imagine, around Sunningdale, it's always very well manicured, but they are edged nicely. Yeah, there is a steep, giving it a lot of swing there, yeah. Alex giving it probably about. I think they're deceptive. Two foot out the right. Yeah, they are subtle breaks. Even the ones that look flat have got movement on them. There it goes, it's moving. Yeah, pulled it. Ah, but it wasn't wasn't bad though. Great for luck, great for uh, pace. Yeah, it was just but about you a just foot had, left yeah, of where I wanted to. Look, but it just moved so much. Good shot in by Paul. Nicely below the hole. Got a little bit of movement, couple of cup outside right. Yeah, a bit off the right. Stay there. Just moved a lot early that one. Moved a fraction early. Well done. well done. Good hole. Solid two putt there boys, well done. Hole halved. Sick hole and this is well I mean it's just spectacular isn't it? Look at that. You laying up into that fairway there, just short of the heather, and then second shot across the heather towards the green. 400 and... Just over 400. I just think. over 400, but fairway was to position themselves short of the heather. Not sure you're going to be carrying that today. Maybe, maybe there's a little five with that one. That's a great shot, straight down the pipe. Yeah, nicely positioned that. Perfect, is that five? Forward. Forward. It's a one iron down, isn't it? It is, yeah. I've got a bit of a gap. I need to get a nice five wood that I like. Do you? I haven't found one yet. So I've got a bit of a gap between iron and driver. Don't see many one irons on this channel, but we've got one today. A little Callaway, I think. No Mizuno, that is. Great strike. Quite. It's gone so high for a one iron, Dan. <laughs> I mean, if you look at the size of it, it's, it's pretty forgiving. Cool, it's just it's just flown past Paul's forward. That's perfect. Great hit, that. What is that thing you got in there? Let's have a quick it's look a at that. Mizuno. Is it? Just picked up. Off just mate, the fact that said. it's got a one on it just scares <laughs> the life out of me. No, but that flew good. like a like a good five with that, did? Yeah, it's a nice club. Probably could have hit another sort of 30 yards off the tee would have been okay. There's a lot of um, gauzy heather stuff in front. A little bit left of the target, not too bad. Middle of the left side of the green pins on the right. Pretty good. Just walk to the edge of the fairway, right on the limit, really fine. Alex, good judged, tee shot from. Judged to perfection by the partner there. Just there, just moving now down to the right hand side, so yeah. getting better all the time. Pretty good shot. Pretty what a beautiful like backdrop. Try and feel like you roll it over it. If you hit it at it, I think it'll move past it like about an inch on the inside of it. Down the hill, swinging off the right. It's got a good subtle break again. Oh, they're all they're all moving hard, aren't they? Mm. Very good. Clicking away. Was a good pace. Dan's clicking away. <laughs> Easy to get away from you, isn't it? Yeah, downhill. Once it gets on these slopes, you get yourself in a bit of a bit of pickle. Fall down the hill then. Probably had a little fright from that last putt. Yeah, I'm um gotta be careful when you're playing match play and you watch someone's putt go ripping past, you've got to you got to have a good think about it because it can get in your head a bit and then you're not leaving your putt short. 
and then let it release down. It's pretty useful to me. I'm going to go sideways now. Yeah, it's one of those little thinkers, isn't it? Didn't want to leave him a downhiller though. Well, it, it may, it's just the mat slope. That's, the, yeah. that's there, isn't it? It's not that it's any quicker, it's just the fact there's so much slope on it. Alex then up the hill. Moves a lot. Yeah, very good. Seventh hole then, up and over the top, 406 yards. It's a big sloping fairway when you get up over the top of the hill. James with driver. Very good, little slider up there. Sort of playing it into the slope, which is perfect for this hole. Alex going go fairway. Right on side. I'm not going to see that down. Oh, nice. That's very good. Cutting out the left hand side there. It's too straight, could run through. It could far. run through with that club. Well, we've got 124. James at a perfect drive. He's got it away from sort of this bump here. So it's ran off this hill down here into sort of the left hand side of the fairway. Any further left, you're sort of really snookered by these overhanging trees. So it's probably a perfect drive, really. Forward nine on. That's a great shot. Oh, that's class. It's in there tight, three or four foot by the look of it, just right at the pin. Dan chipping out of the trees. Not an easy position. Hooking it, trying to hook it round. Getting himself back into position there, that's good. Leave Alex probably about an 80 yard pitch. And a great shot in by Paul. Alex, Dan's just put him, he's actually about 75 yards in, so he's just got a little pitch up the green. Pin's tucked in on this sort of right hand side from where he is. So again, you can see positioning off the tee really important. Not ideal as they say. Little short kicks in off there. Not feeling it today, so far anyway. Right down up the green, it's got a little upslope, a little bit of green to work, we've got to throw it all the way I would say, probably close to where that shadow is on the flag, just to get it to stop on that platter. Check those grooves. Yeah that was a bit of spin on that, nicely executed though. What you got Jimbo? Pretty straight really. Yeah not a lot in it? Yeah, uh, kind of, a little bit of both ways. Or quite a bit right to left. Yeah, Cabrita. quite a bit of movement there, isn't there? How did that miss? <laughs> I'm guessing this one's not straight then. No. So it's all business, uh, Benny. All business. Yeah. Nice boys. An adventurous half. Was it? Totally well done, boys. Very good. Fist pump in that. <laughs> um, sorry about that, everybody. It's not actually a half at all. There was a ball that went out of play early on. And then you actually made a five yeah. from the second ball. So uh, Paul and James four up now. Another lovely par three, eighth hole, one six eight. Yeah, a little seven. A little three. seven. So eight, there is actually a couple of tees further back. So I imagine when you get the big championships around there, they might they might actually push them back there for the for this event, wouldn't they? Save they save them, save them for it's practice not, rounds. Only further back than this. Yeah, they're just this is probably practice round tees. Nice pull, starting it just right at the flag, drawing it in. Again, here that's going to roll back, I think. Coming back? Mm, no, it's held on, but there's a huge sort of drop off just there, brings you right back to the front of the green. What you got, Dan? I've got an eight iron, I think. Eight as well? Should be a good number for me. Just leaking out to the right hand side, catch a piece. Yeah, that's that little drop off area there. That'd be okay. Just didn't quite get the strike he wanted there. So it's Alex to putt first. We've got sort of press putt a 30 foot straight up the hill. Gone way to the right. Good for pace, but line was quite a way off to be fair. 
doing there for two. Oh, hello. Oh, Pat. Oh, I was going to pace as well. Was that a sneaky little Friendly. two? I was going to say. Was that? Is that five? Is that five up or three? I don't know what it is now. Five up? Yeah, five, man. Thank you. So, we are doing front nine, back nine. Yeah, I think we're going to do front nine, back nine, yeah, just yeah. so everybody gets to see the whole golf course yeah, if we can. Yeah. Ninth hole. It's only 267 yards to the front from this T position. So, wind's... I think it's almost helping, Jimbo. Yeah. yeah. It's helping out the left, isn't it? So if you get your normal shape, James, a little bit off the left, it's going to slide with the wind. Three wood? Yeah. Well, this is a good play. Yeah, beautiful. That's so good. Beautiful, bud. James has hit here, sort of front edge, which is good. Probably got 25 foot. Right, three wood for Alex as well. Good right. hit, really good hit. Just turned over. Got you. over the trap though, I think. I definitely had it. I think we were good hit. A bit. I think we were a bit. Should be really quick this and probably quite a bit of break. He's aiming a good four, three or four foot to our left is right. This will be very rapid. It'll come soon as he's faced again sideways. Might be a little bit hard. It's a great roll. Stay up. It's a great roll. Good, good chance. Let's see it through. So this now to get back to four. Realistically, probably looking at two putts. Okay. in three. Tenth hole, this is literally one of my favourite tee shots in golf. As you can see, par four up the hill, 488 yards. Now, as halfway huts go, there are some good ones, but that one there is the best. Absolutely the best. I think a good sausage sandwich in there, Dan, costs you about a quid. It's all ever That's all you need. This hole is known for the sausage sandwiches. This is it all it is. Sausage, sausage sandwiches. And this is it. You kind of feel yourself trying to play this hole as quick as you can to give yourself more time in the hut. Correct. <laughs> yeah, you could spend a lot of time in that hut. Or get your match done and dusted by the hut. Okay, so we are starting a back nine game now as well. We? Yeah. Uh, so a second game? Or... So a second game. Okay. So you've got the, still got the main game going at five. Yeah. But they, they've pressed you on another game. Wind into out the right. Doesn't like it down the left. Down, I see it down there. Cool. Might be okay. Just shaping, isn't it? A lot there. It's okay, Dan. That's absolutely fine. Just got a lot of shape on that wind. It started turning, and then the wind. Are you gonna have another go, Paul? Have a practice, little practice a shot. Practice tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's well, that's the wind got it there a little bit, but it's perfect, absolutely perfect. Off that trap, let it move to the right. That's what I see. Paul T shot's on the left hand side, just in the light stuff. He's not made that heavy, which is good. But James may need a head cover. You tell him to take the head cover for his driver. What you got? Too far? Two fifty second shot. No, you haven't. I have. No swearing. Sorry, apologies. I don't think I've ever had 250 into a par 4. <laughs> you did when you were about 11. Yeah, 12 years old. <laughs> you are live on the channel, yeah. please do not swear. <laughs> well, I'm basically playing with a version of myself when I was 12. You were a better player when you were 12. <laughs> <laughs> I was than I am now, yeah. James is slightly, I'll just take you up there, slightly blocked out. We've got an overhanging tree. And he's going to hit driver, and generally people do fade it when they hit driver. Lack of loft. Um, 
James has got a bit of talent though, so he might even move it the other way. Right. 212. 212. Slightly blocked out, he's going to have to move this right to left. Blocked oh. out. That's a great shot. So good. Oh, that's way short. A bit more wind up there than we think. Yeah, yeah. Feel it now, actually. Yeah. Mine's all right, but how is that? How there's is a twig here in your way, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. James said it's all right, but <laughs> <laughs> um, you've, you've got this. I've got this. Yeah. Well, I can't even stand it, let alone in it. <laughs> what are you thinking? Little, little, little thing? Little hooked, something hooked. I've got to try and keep it out of the hut. <laughs> this, could, this could be in the hut. If we could be ordering hut. food a bit quick, rapidly. There was a queue until Paul played the shot. This is as tough as it gets, really. Oh, like oh it's unlucky. It's unlucky. It's hard yeah. to. It's hard when you've got a tree that close to you. It's actually hard to follow through because you just feel like you're gonna not only snap your club but damage your hand. Some say the toughest shot in golf, Dan. Yeah. Got this big lip to deal with. Probably about 40 yards up and over that lip, then the heather. See, it's a good, decent lie. Oh, Dan, that's so good. The club. Don't spin. Don't spin. Very good. Hugely tilted green again. That's a great shot out there. Well done. Nice of them to win one. Paul's just gone through the green, so just playing back down. Playing down a down slope. I think they probably conceded the hole, but Paul's just having a little practice. Great shot. shot. Really good, Paul. We can leave you 250, just let it drive off the deck. Maybe. Jimbo, given the six. Can you replay that, please? Yeah. That <laughs> I didn't hear given. Oh, they've conceded the hole, perfect. Oh, they've given you the hole. Just said that. Just a bit of practice putting then, mate. Yeah. yeah they, just, there, they just want to get into that halfway hut quicker, I think. Well done boys, you're one up. Four and one at the moment. Right, I'm heading in there. Oh, exactly. There it is. There it is. That's the traditional sausage bat from the halfway hut. Beautiful. That's it, that's what it's all about, Paul. Right there. That's your second sausage sandwich of the day. 11th hole over the top of that what waste bunker a rare waste bunker out here over the pole and it's about 312 300 well about 315 let's say to the pin from where we are Jimbo's it in two iron it's slightly into out the right is that what we're seeing so is it on that line over the pole with the two iron, James? Uh, a bit left of that, to be fair. A little left of that, but that, that pole is on line for the green, isn't it? Where you're yeah, gonna... I think that pole is kind of off that tee normally. Okay. Good swing. Yeah, lovely swing, that. Perfect. Straight through that cap. There you go. Driver for guess. Alex, go in for it. It's 350 off this, Jim. Yeah, in to win, though. He's not going to get there. waiting around chicken sandwiches yeah chicken sandwiches James has hit the sort of laid up probably hit an iron off the tee probably four or three or four iron I'd say to here 95 I got Barnsley pin sort of right cut on the right hand side it's quite a looks like a smallish smaller green play is slightly left of the stick I think One line just a bit short. Dan's a little bit blocked out. Let's take you up there. This is what he's faced with. Can't quite see the pin. It's just dead straight through the gap. 114. Short. Just 
held up in the wind. Always picking that up. You pull that. Straight pull. Twelfth hole, little dog leg from right to left. Absolute treat this one. Beautifully positioned, beautifully positioned green up there. The boys are coming back at them. They're two up on the back. They're three in the match now. Doesn't take much foursomes, does it? Hugging the left side. Should be okay, that. Over that one. Should be a good spot. It is a little right, but a little lower. Short and in it, I think. Yeah, that wasn't good. Bounce short, one in. Paul's drive has just found this left bunker. There's one on the right hand side a little bit further up as well, so it's sort of protect it. Don't think you can get there off that lie anyway. It's on a slight upslope with a, a massive lip, so it's nearly probably six foot high. So he's playing his little wedge out. It's a good shot. Best stand he's ever tasted. Get right in the middle of the fairway. When you play on courses like this, literally, if Alex was a centimetre to the right, he'd have a, a decent attempt. But I mean, he's really sort of snookered there. Big clump of hair behind the ball. Problem is, when he hit hitting into it, you're going to get a bit of heather between the club face and the ball, and it's just going to come out dead. easy there is it no. really got to tell you about this it's just so thick you get in here where it's like it just grabs the club and you go in there with any sort of little bit of loft so less loft it snags the club up and just wraps it so you've got absolutely no chance of getting out it's just a wedge out and put yourself back into position what have you got Paul? six iron six iron yeah Drifting a little fraction left. Just caught left side. Good job. Not the miss. Short sided. James is left with a little down slope. Landing, he's got to go up, then he's got to land on a down slope to a pin that kind of runs away from him. Yeah, not ideal, James, but you need a little bit of um, a little bit of savvy here. Nice little toe spinner. I think that's as good as you can do from there. Uh, yeah. Not bad, Jimbo. Rapid, left, your, left your partner an uphill part, well done you. A bit rapid there. Right, Alex, for his par. Yeah, that's where I've got it, that's uh, exactly where I've got it. Yeah, but then it's breaking too yeah. there, isn't it? So it's probably more like... I reckon. Yeah, so, okay, I got it. As soon as the speed goes off there, it's just slinging. All right. Come on down. Come on down. That's a good putt though. I thought that was going to move a lot more midsection that. Yeah, picking that up. What's this for? Five. This is for the half. Wow. That has just snapped. Right boys. Oh another little gem of a par three. How far have we got? We got six. Four. Downhill. Fourteen yards downhill. How far you boys got? Uh, 
172. 172? Playing 158 down the hill. Okay. I'm literally going to hit a four iron. Oh, this game is shaping up to be something pretty special, actually, isn't it? Two. It's gone three and two. We've got a complete spin around. Welcome back, everybody, to part three. Welcome back, James. Always a pleasure to have you on the channel. Thanks, Dan. Alex, pleasure. Pleasure. Pleasure, sir. Club? Four iron. Cool. Yeah, hold there, hold there. Catch a bit of that green there on the left. Oh, it was the right club as well, wasn't it? It was a good yeah, swing, perfect, that. Perfect distance. Yeah, it really was. Jimbo, what have you got? I got six. He's got Are you? He's changed clubs. Got oh, his head. Oh. That's your that's your coaching bonus gone. <laughs> gusty, gusty. Oh well, I hope we're changing. Gusty, gusty. <laughs> you hear that gust? You hear it, I felt it. He blew me over. Six ain't getting there with that now. No, a little knockdown five. I like chippy that play. Five, chippy five. Chippy five means kind of taking a bit off of it, taking the spin off of it. Keep it down. Oh, he's gone left. Left, left. Yeah, he wasn't oh, that happy. Is, that is down. You, you just literally spent five minutes in his head there. Well five done, you. Living rent free. Beautifully. Paul's just up against this, just short of the hedge where he stood on the bottom of the hedge, sort of really short side him, so the pin sort of 10 foot on. Oh, the meltdown continues. No. Short right, short. Oh, A little bit of relief taken then from the plug. All plugged, not a bad, four iron plug, like it. Well played. Not easy to do that. Not an easy shot this. Ball's above his feet. It's kind of he's dropped it so well it's teed up on him. A little bit of a toe down. He's got a nice yeah, he's gonna try and look, he's gonna handle, he's gonna stand up. So he's standing that handle up. Plenty of green to work with. Good. For the spinner. Tough to get any spin, handle up like that. Rather be there than this. Go just there. We're in recovery at the moment, these boys had a sausage baps have not done them well. Release, go on, release, 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 release. Nice touch. Pick that up, he says. I had a tuna sandwich. Oh did you? Yeah. Sorry. No, you you're doing alright. Well brother's gone double sausage Double bat, sausage bat. He, had a, he had a sausage bat before he teed off, he's had a do sausage bat halfway round. Sudden, suddenly the rotation is not quite the same as no. what it was on the front little, side. Little struggling lower half pull. This to have a full, well, full spin around. This to go four up on the back nine. Back to one in the overall match. Great thing about foursomes, you can't write anybody off. That's so bad. <laughs> Got away from it. That's massively downhill, isn't it? Yeah, say it was downhill. So it bad. is quite a lot downhill, that. What can you say to your partner when he does that to you, Dan, eh? Just got to pick I'm up the really pieces, sure, haven't you? I'm just thinking. Yeah. <laughs> you just got to pick up the pieces and move on. Very good, Dan. Well done. Good recovery, that. Good recovery. Well played. Put me under it, there, didn't he? Hole 14. 503 yards, par five. The boys are making a bit of a comeback. Should be reachable until that is into a win today. Sort of bunkers up the right hand side. Let's take up the hole and get some bunkers right. Bit of bracket on the right, left, no bunkers. Just hugging the right hand side. There you go. It's okay. It's fine, yeah, it's fine. Loads of room out there. Ball just hugging the left side, just coming back now. Should be pretty good that. There you go. Yep, yeah, just stayed on the left side of the fairway. Good drive. Drive ball. James just up the left hand side, left hand rough, not a bad position, got a nice lie. Uh, 255. 255. Three wood for James. Oh, it's come out with those low spinners. 
kind of low spin slid off the face out to the right, didn't it? No real control. I'm just going to go down it and just kind of chase it up there. Short is better than long, it looks like. That'll do. So got away with it, got past this trap, and then on a slight downslope, ball's kind of, it's not bad. Pin is tucked on the right hand side. Pretty flat all the way to the pin there. A little low spinner. That is so good. That is very good. Well done, partner, I heard in the corner of my right ear. Oh, was that you, Bernie? So, yeah. <laughs> Shot. shot there. It was a very good shot. Yeah, couple, of, couple of nice shots in there, boys. What did you use there, Dan? Uh, 50 degree. Did you? Yeah. You tend to like to throw it up a little bit, even though you've got a lot of green to work with? Just probably practice more of that shot, really. Yeah. Just go with what I'm comfortable with. Absolutely right. Um, as long as you can get the strike. get a bit heavy handed with the, the lower lofted ones. Lower lofted yeah, ones. So the ones Missed we always spot. teach. Just slightly uphill, not much movement on this. Just yanked it slightly. <laughs> Angry John camera, please. Pick that up. Let's say. I'm not sure that was giving, is it? Oh, shut up. He ain't missing this, is he? We're all good. How's this, Alex? He ain't, he ain't missing that. Man of his calibre. No, he never misses it. He likes to use all the hole, but he normally, normally rolls them in. <laughs> Uh, right boys, that actually stopped the rot a little bit, didn't it? So what's that, back to three? So, it's a spin around here, isn't it? Back, so to, it, to, back two, to three, two, on the back. two and three again. Fifteenth yeah. hole, par three, it's 222 yards off this back tee that we're sat on here. This is, uh, this is as tough as it gets on the par threes, I would say, around this course. Strong hole, James. Two iron. Two iron for James. It's just stayed there. Come on. Definitely said to it left. Yeah. Bernie didn't know what was going on there. Does he ever? Does he ever? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's there most days. That's the good thing about Bernie. Is he's awesome. very reliable. Always there. Always turns up on time. In fact, sometimes he beats me into the office. What you got here, a little firewood? A little firewood. Oh, I like it. Oh, hold there, hold there, hold there. Don't hit it too hard. Pin hunting with a firewood. That's okay. That's good. It's not a bad leave, that. Very good. Okay, Paul's second shot on the path three with James. Just gave it a bit of a... Well, it just didn't move, did it, James? Um, good thing is he's got a little bit of green to work with. He's got to obviously go over this big bunker in front of him, but it's going to move a little bit from left to right when it lands. Nicely spun it. Trying to spin it in there again. Oh, it lipped out. <laughs> Very good. Just made sure, you see his divot there, just made sure he got it out, got enough speed into it, and then tried to get it to spin. So Dan, just coming in off the right side of the green. Alex played a nice shot with his five wood. You've got to be careful with five woods and seven woods. You get it up in the air too much, it starts to really ride the wind. So he's controlled it nicely. Pin high. Dan going with lots of loft. Didn't quite have the lie, I think he... Uh, control it as well as he hoped. Jimbo, probably about eight, nine, ten feet, ten feet up the hill. Should be moving off of his right. Looking at the way Paul's lipped out the hole. Not a lot. Okay, Alex. He's gone straight at it, he's feeling. Nice shove. Pushed it. 
picking it up. 16th hole in the main match. The score is Dormy. So the Paul and James are three up with three to play. Great, great hole this one. I think when we played Sunnydale Foursomes last time, this is where Alex and I bailed out. Down the right, lovely swing, that's nice. a great swing. All right, just letting it shake back. There you go, just in the dip down there. And down with driver as well. Good, starts it up the right hand side, just drawing back. Left side of the fairway. Yeah, I think it's just past there, should be okay that. Good drive. What you got? 175. 175, James going slightly uphill. There's a row of bonkers here, but they're not really in play. And there's one or two up, looks like two actually up on the right hand side. Pin looks like it's on the right hand side as well. What bat have you got? I've got six. Yeah. Great looking shot. Not really big. Oh, yeah, That's superb. Big. Great shot. Over to Alex, he's going to hit, so it can't get any closer. Left side, I think. Shot. We'll wander down to the boys. Front of the green. For something that was just off the edge of the fairway, you give it an almighty whack. Yeah. Tough lie. Yeah. It's, so, it's really wet over there. And is it? Yeah, it is a wet, wet. It's just like a little uh, bowl, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a little bowl just past that piece. Do what? Not bad. Um, no, it's, it's going to die at the end. I'd say it's on this little white or a lighter patch here, this old. Just to let everybody know, yeah. you know, and, and, and obviously this is going to come out after the Sunday Now Foursomes is finished, but next year if you want to come up and watch, you know, you, you, it is free to come and watch some golf if you want to have a little wander around. You'll generally see some good players, ex-tour players. I had a picture with Sandy Lyle last time I was up here. Giving it a good whack. Turning in. Good effort. Snapped. It did, isn't it? That's what they've been doing all day, haven't they? Big swings. We'll see that after the last off. Oh, cutthroat. Give nothing. Oh, yes. oh, use the marker. oh he's clipped the marker. <laughs> What's that? You fist pump in the marker. That's what I was trying to do. Huh? <laughs> that's the match anyway. Right, so that, that is your match. So this is now we're that's um yes, yeah, so that's three and two definitely. Um this to stay at two for the uh, back nine. Yes, in. Oh, what's he laughing at? <laughs> he thought he'd push that one as well. Right, so Good like I say, all three and two win for the boys. <laughs> Gotta give you some confidence going into the uh, main event. Tomorrow, Paul, isn't it? Huge, especially that back nine performance. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you are two change. down in the back nine. It's given us a bit because we've actually pulled it back. <laughs> Every Win win for everyone, Bernie. <laughs> 17th hole, just wandering you down there. A great par four, fantastic par four. Four, two, five. James is going to go with two iron position. Nice. <laughs> Very good. Have some of that, Terry. So James is hitting iron just to get Paul a little further back. He wants to ch he wants to challenge Paul's longer <laughs> clubs. James feels like he's been put a little bit too far back on some of the holes. So um, we had a six iron in on the last night. A wedge. <laughs> driver for Alex. Oh, he's not liking that driver. Crocodile sandwich. He's not liking that driver at the moment. No, I think it's probably gonna. Let's have another one. Have another go. Oh, we're having, we're having a take two. Big low covered face. Still went left, but it's better. Yeah. But toey as well. That was toey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That'll do it. Nothing but... a couple of beers won't sort out tonight. Oh, easy. All right. That'll this sort it water. right out. Whenever right. you get a hooky one, have a couple of beers. Sorts it out. Alex's t-shirt a little bit low and left found this tree it's quite a nice tree actually if the tree is nice, a nice tree nice tree yeah just described as a nice tree and it's gonna be sort of nudging it forward oh 
There you go, advance it down the fairway, good shot. Paul's got 193. It's a long way there, Paul. It's freaking miles, isn't it? Oh. I ain't got enough club. What do you think oh. from here? What would you hit? Um, I'm not hit. One night, you're probably five or turning six on the green. It's probably a four for you, Paul. Two iron. Two iron. It feels too much. Five's good. Oh, go. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Get play. Oh, the whole well. we, we get the play. Why? Well, it's two days. Yeah. Trying to take loads off it. I shouldn't. What you got, Alex? One three four. One thirty four for Alex. In the shadows. The iconic clubhouse in the background with the big tree at the back of the 18th green. Just looks absolutely stunning. A little knockdown nine iron, I think, for Alex in there. Nice, very nice. Nice and controlled that. Very good. So, Paul's just come off a little bit short right. Yeah, no beach though, is there? James is chipping over the edge of the bunker. Beautiful shot. Straight on line. Too good. So Dan has been left with, well, looked a lot closer with that second shot, it was a good second shot here, nicely controlled, but Dan's left with about 45-50 feet up the hill, again huge swing from left down the green here to the right towards these traps. I'd say the greens this today have been running so well. How much movement's on that as well, though. You gave that quite a bit as well, Dan, didn't you? Yeah. That was almost going to straighten. Yeah. We can get away from you, the old putts. Oh, it should have got a read. It went past. Stayed out there. I think it's got to move, wouldn't you? That's the move from there. Okay, so that's the boys. Um, yeah, they, you gave them that, didn't you, Paul? I know you don't give much, but no, hopefully they have that. In for six, so this is... You want to practice, did you? Yeah, I'm happy to practice. You can have it if you really want. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the really coach in him. It. It's <laughs> coaching him. He wants Honestly, to put you under... Okay. He wants to put you under pressure, Paul. Come on. There's no pressure here. Pressure builds diamonds. Yeah. So it looks like we are going up 18, everybody. Yeah, just nestled it up there nicely, that. Yeah, got it close. Five, Bernie, get your clubs out. Fives are winning holes. All right? Your CV, no, your CV doesn't stack up. I'm afraid. <laughs> what, the 1997 monthly medal? Second in the stable for Doesn't get you in. 18th hole, this is... Well, as good as it gets in my book, everybody, up towards the clubhouse, the tree on the right-hand side, beautiful clock, flag flying, wind out the right. Driver for Paul, what have you got? 423. 423, up the hill. Yeah, that's good, Paul, just smashing it up the right and let the wind drift it back. Very good. Yeah, good hit, just off the fairway. Again, I think both Paul and Dan like this wind out the right. Start out the right and let it do its thing. Nice, Dan. Big hit. Go on, up you go. Up you go. Yeah. Drop and stop. Just, just snuck past Paul that one, Dan. What have we got? Seven. Oh, I got one seven six. Right, I think. Alex, down off the tee, just literally missed the fairway by a couple of feet, but the ball is uh, covered in mud. Oh, but right. 
I won't see that down or... Oh. Bunker. Yeah. Paul coming up and over the trap. James has left him out there a little bit. <laughs> Asking a few questions, putting the pool under a little bit of practice. Got a nice tight fairway lie. Just over by the chipping green there. Over the trap. Gotta go. James is bunkering. Incorrect. Right, Dan, out the front trap. Wind just kind of down. Out of his right again. Landing on a bit of a down slope, so he just needs to kind of throw it a little bit further to get any sort of spin and control. No. Jimbo. Some say the wheels are falling off here, but it's a better one. Two, yeah, very good that. Alex behind the green. Down she goes. Come on, round to the right. Down you go, down you go, down you go. Oh, it's a good shot. Very good. Just trying to get it through my brain, but what? where are we? How are we lying? Both lying four. Both lying four. No shots here, is there? Uh, I think you should get one. <laughs> Come on, man. Must, must make. Lying for. Yeah. Where's well, this off the right? Yeah. Yeah? I'd go pretty straight unless the wind right. touches it. Right. Okay. This for any chance of any sort of half. Anything. Nice. Oh, that's asked the question, isn't it? How good are you, Dan? How good are you? Shows how tough this track actually is, isn't it? These boys have been struggling today with the breeze. It's a bit cold. Fresh into the season. Some clubs have only just come out of the locker. Yeah. Practice round as well. It's been a good match. This to finish one up on the back nine. In. Well done, boys. Good. There we go. Well good. done, boys. Very good. <laughs> well played. Very good. Uh, good luck tomorrow, boys. Good luck tomorrow. Play well. Early doors. Enjoy. Cheers, mate.